Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. My name is Captain and today I will be your guide. So, I structured this video to first show you the weapons we used, what exotic armor worked well, and finally the mods that you will need. I will then take you through each encounter, showing you what strategies to use and the safe spots in each room. You don't need the best exotics in the game or fully upgraded armor combo specific to your subclasses. All you need is strategy and a bare minimum. To begin with, we had two warlocks with wells and a stasis hunter. The wells help to keep you alive and generate orbs for each other. The stasis hunter helps with ad clears and freezing large groups of enemies in small rooms. There are no overloads, just barriers and unstoppables. So all three of us had ARs such as the scape lock and the bray tech. For unstoppables and the boss, any fusion and linear rifle works great. We had one vex for solar damage against cabal and one null composure. The main shields are solar, followed by void and then arc. We also had one 1k and two Reese regrets. Honestly, you don't need 1k, just a decent linear will do. Most importantly, one of us was running Skyburner's Oath. This is the only weapon that is a must have for this Grandmaster, and here is why. The Oathbreaker does extra damage against Cabal. It can shoot through the Phalanx shields and it can shoot through the boss's shields too. For all other weapons, you need to get inside the shield to destroy the shield generator. Once the generator is destroyed, the boss will be vulnerable again. But with Skyburner's Oath, you can sit at a distance and shoot through the shield at the generator. I don't know if this is a glitch, or a boss cheese, or if a Skyburner's Oath is actually meant to do it. The description does say Phalanx Shields, but it could take into account the boss's shields too. Moving on to armor, both Warlocks had Phoenix Protocol to gain back half of their super when getting kills inside the well. This will help you spam the well and take full advantage of it. For Stasis, the Frosty's exotic leg armor for Hunters works great by boosting ability regen. Honestly, if you don't have these exotics, don't worry, it isn't the end of the world. They are not a requirement, they simply just make your life easier. For mods on your class items, make sure that everyone is running Particle Deconstruction. Those running Stasis should have Resonant Siphon on and those not running Stasis should have Focusing Lens on. For leg armor, the scavenger mods work great for your linear and fusion rifles. For your chest armor, make sure to have concussive dampener as well as any mods that reduce incoming solar damage or sniper damage. For gauntlets, have barrier and unstoppables and finally for the helmet, make sure to have ammo finder mods on. So to begin with, when you spawn in, don't worry about killing all the ads. Drive to the hard left and begin climbing the pipework up on top. There will be a cabal turret here so take it out along with any turrets in the surrounding areas. There will be one on your hard left, one on your right, and two more in front of a ramp leading to the proving grounds. Stay in this pipework and take out all the cabal near the back of a spawn. There will be cabal retreating from the front where the vex are to the back of a ship, so take them out along the way. Use your linears and ARs against the barriers here to dispatch them quickly. There will be unstoppables further up. Stun them in the face, then hit the fuel tanks on the back for the maximum damage. Once the champions are dead, the mini boss will spawn. Staying on the pipelines for cover, take out the cabal around the boss before dealing with it. Keep your distance as the boss's minigun is deadly accurate. You can climb up onto the structures on your left to get above the boss, but be aware that the boss fires missiles every so often, which can kill you. With your res being so far up in the sky, it makes it more of a nuisance if you die up there. Once the boss is on half health, he will form a shield around him. Two of you focus on distracting the boss and killing the remaining adds. Meanwhile, the person with Skype and his oath can sit in the back, using the pipes for cover and hitting the generator through the shields. If you don't see any crit spots showing up, don't worry. You are still hitting it, but the game doesn't recognize you shooting the generator. Eventually, the generator will fall, so focus on the boss and keep your distance. This is the hardest room in a nightfall. There isn't much cover and there's a lot of grenades and annoying barrier champions. Before jumping down, clear out the adds underneath you. We failed multiple times in this room until we found our own strat that works. At first, we tried the balconies up top. They have plenty of cover, but spawn adds. They will spawn two phalanx who will only spawn up there if you jump onto the balcony. So stay away from them. Instead, one person stays at the back of the room using the walls for cover. Whilst the second goes to the bottom right and uses the walls there. The third can hide in a corner in the middle right of a room. There is a gap big enough to squeeze into. From here, you can shoot at all the ads in the middle while the other two cover you from snipers and the war dogs that spawn on the right and left sides of a room. 
Being this spread out prevents all the ads from running you down and gives you angles on all the enemies. There will be scions driving vehicles that shoot missiles. Two shots from a Rizugret kills them even though they have void shields. Whilst in these positions, take out the snipers on the balconies and as many Cabal legionaries as you can. Then, focus on the barrier champions one by one. Once the last of the bikes is destroyed, two tanks will spawn. For this, use your linears and fusions and shoot the legs of the tanks. They are more than sufficient enough to destroy them. Kill the one on the right first, then kill the ads around it. Once most of them are dead, focus on the left tank before dealing with the remainder of the ads. In the next encounter, there will be ads and an unstoppable. Kill the ads and remain on this side of the room. There will be a sniper to your left across the tracks along with ads in the middle. Keep to the back but be aware that the grenades have solo burn on them, so stay away from them. Once done, pick up the orb and drop it. This will activate the next door and the room full of ads. Keep your distance as there will be gladiators. Jump back on the platforms and take them out at distance. Once inside the next room, take out the tourists to your left. They are accurate and deadly. Aim for the gun ports for the crit spots. Stay at the back, take out the ads, then go back and pick up the orb. Bring it over and deposit it. The next door will open. Using the same principle, take the sniper out and the ads from a safe distance. Once the champion dies, the second orb will spawn. As soon as it does, there will be a group of gladiators spawning behind you. Jump onto the middle platform and take them out. Be aware that there is a sniper above you. I didn't know until recently that the Skyburner's Oath, when hip-fired, fires high explosive slug rounds that can track targets around the corner. Use it to your advantage to take out any ads that like to hide. Once the gladiators are dead, don't pick up a second orb. Go back into the room and dispose of all the ads inside before depositing the second orb. From here, this will open up the door to the elevator room. When it opens up, war dogs will come out, so dispatch them before they reach you. There is a platform facing the door. You can use it to take the ads out from the high ground or use the walls in front of the door to dispose of the ads. There will be a barrier and a unstoppable. You are now in the boss room. The safest place in this room is in the top right or left of the room. Beneath the platform where the boss spawns is a radiator room. It is deactivated for the majority of the encounter, however, activates every so often when a boss takes damage. Use it for cover but don't rely on it. Instead, use a cover to the left of the room to take the ads out. Here, the wells will be critical. Focus on each ad as a team and dispatch them quickly. The boss has two weapons, a gun that shoots purple shit at you, and the worst one, balls of fire that track you down. You need to take them out instantly. It takes all but one to one-shot you on a direct hit. Use the walls and radiator room to avoid them as they explode on impact when they hit a surface. Or, shoot them with your ARs. We nicknamed them Meatballs for short. So, continue to damage the boss and take the Meatballs out whenever they spawn. If ads spawn, prioritize them. Once the boss loses one bar of health, then use your Skyburner to take the shield out. Let the person with Skyburners focus on the shields whilst the other two cover him from the Meatballs. There will be unstoppables spawning every so often, so kill them together to get rid of them ASAP. Once the boss reaches his last bar of health, move to the front of the room where you entered. The boss will jump up onto the top platform. Same as before, take out the ads, then focus on the boss. The person with Skyburner takes the shields down whilst the other two cover him from the Meatballs. Once the shields are down, the boss will return to the center of the room. This time, he will be up close and personal. There won't be any more ads assuming you took them all out. Return to the top right hand corner and use a cover to block his shots. Surround him but keep your distance. Make sure to be spread out around him so you can only focus on one person at a time. Jump around him and constantly damage him. Eventually, you will kill him. Don't stay still as movement is key here. And that is how you complete the Grandmaster Nightfall. If you guys have enjoyed it, then please check out my other tutorials on how to complete the other Grandmaster Nightfalls. If you have found this video helpful, then please sub and like as it helps to grow the channel, bringing you more content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.